What you guys got another video here for you why are my usb ports not working that's a common problem that people have with either their computer or laptop or other devices and i'll show you how to fix it step by step but let's first have a word from today's sponsor cd key sales now cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro oem key then use the links in the video description use my promo code capital b capital r 09 apply this to your order and then you can go over to the change product key on your Windows operating system, paste in that key and click next. And then it will activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. So the first common problem I see is do you have the right port? A lot of people are plugging in devices into the wrong port and they're not getting the results they require. For instance, if this is a data only port and not a charging port, it's not going to charge your phone or your device because it doesn't draw power also another thing is you could be plugging a device into a port that that device doesn't support you've got a uh, usb ports here as you can see make sure there's no debris inside of the port sometimes you get build up of fluff and dirt and this can stop connectivity also is the device compatible that you're plugging into for that port if it's an old device it might not support these latest speeds on the super fast usb ports again is the usb port damaged you can check the port to see if the little leg has snapped off are you using a damaged usb cable very common people use a usb cables that are damaged or they're the wrong type of cable if you're using an old type cable in a modern day port it won't work also we're going to be checking the device drivers is your device drivers installed on that motherboard or device you're using now you can see here we have some yellow exclamation marks and that means the device drivers are not working or they are not installed and you need to make sure that you install them so the device will work correctly so just check to make sure in device manager that you have got all of this installed correctly so you can head over to the motherboard manufacturer or the device manufacturer of the device that you're trying to use and make sure that you've got all the latest drivers for motherboards like these, it's generally the chipset drivers that you need to download and install. And this will normally uh, start uh, working straight away once you restart the system. So make sure you've got all of these installed. Now, Windows tries to do its best to install these for you, but don't always rely on Microsoft to download and install the correct drivers for you. Always go to the manufacturer's website and download them from there. Now, if you're using an old computer, maybe it doesn't support the operating system that you're using and you need to use alternative methods to download drivers to try and get those USB ports to work because that hardware might not be compatible with all the latest operating systems like Windows 11 and Windows 10. But generally, USB ports are not that problematic to get in drivers for. So you should be able to get drivers for it. So let's take a look at also the device manager again. I want to go into here and show you another issue that you can try to resolve from this location. So we're going to go down to where it says the universal serial bus controllers. Inside here, you're going to get all of the drivers that are on that system for the devices. For instance, all of our USB drivers are here. Now you can also update your drivers from here as well by right clicking on these and updating. And sometimes it will tell you that there's an update available or sometimes it will tell you the best driver is installed for this device. And you can also check to make sure there's a Windows update. Sometimes there might be an issue and there might be a patch that fixes uh, the USB issue that you might be having. So always check the update section as well and run checks on your PC. If you're stopping all your updates, then maybe this is your problem and this will resolve it. Next up, you can right click on, say, for instance, any one of these that are having issues. And now you can right click an uninstall device. Make sure you download the latest driver and you can try to install that driver once you've uninstalled it. Sometimes just uninstalling and restarting a PC can make the USB port work and that sometimes resolves the issue. Sometimes you can get some sort of conflict in that actual USB uh, device there. By just uninstalling it can sometimes resolve that. Checking the properties, make sure the device says this device is working properly. If you see this here, then there's a good sign that your USB ports are working correctly. You can also check the device driver date to make sure that it's up to date. You can cross-reference this with the manufacturer's website to make sure that you have got the latest driver installed on that system. Now, if you're using an old obsolete system, then sometimes the drivers go way back 
and you have to use the very latest one that they've got on their website. You can also check the hardware ID and do a search on Google for this particular uh, device ID here. And this will then try to locate and tell you what that device is, especially if it's unknown or you can't find the actual device driver for it, doing a search for this on the internet. This can sometimes resolve that issue, but only download from trustworthy sources. You can always use tools like Snappy Driver, Installer, Origin. Make sure it's by Glenn Delahoy. He's the one that you want to download it for, no one else. This is the official one. Download this one and install it on your system. It's a portable driver uh, downloader, and it will be able to download all of the drivers for your system. This is useful for really old systems where drivers are obsolete on the manufacturer's website, and you can use this to get all of these drivers working on your PC or laptop or the device you're trying to get it working on. Accept their terms and conditions, and then basically put a check mark into the expert mode and then download indexes only. That's all you need to do. Once it scans the PC, it will find drivers that you need, and then you can click on install to install those particular drivers on that system. Now, I don't tend to use this on modern day systems. I will go to the manufacturer's website and download the drivers from there. But if you've got an old 12 year old Dell Optiplex or 10 year old Dell Optiplex or any other type of old PC, sometimes the manufacturers cease to support drivers for those systems. So you can use something like this to get the drivers working and installed on that system and get all those devices working. Next up, go to the power settings on your PC. Make sure that the power settings are correct. Sometimes something go wrong people mess around with their settings and if you've turned things off or disable things they're not going to work inside the power options box check for the usb settings to make sure they are enabled and they've not been disabled a lot of people love to tweak their pc and they may have disabled this at some point by accident and now you need to make sure that it's enabled you can check all your group policies as well to make sure you've not disabled any sort of USBs and make sure your antivirus is not blocking USB ports for your protection. Go into your antivirus program and check to make sure it's not blocking uh, any use of USB ports on your PC. Next up, you can check also the uh, device manager once more. I just want to show you this one here. Go into, into the device manager settings and look for the USB root hub and make sure that we do have allow on here. So right click, go properties inside here. Go to power management and just make sure that we have allowed this computer to turn off this device to save power. You can see that in there. And that is pretty much it. These are the things that you can try to get your USB ports working on your system. At the end of the day, you can always try to reset the PC. Sometimes no matter what you try with your PC, it just breaks and you need to reset it back to default settings. And sometimes using the reset this PC can make things work again. So unless you've tried everything on your PC, whether you've tried restore points and other types of things, if you do like tweaking your system, try to reset this PC. Go through the settings like I'm showing you here. Click on the cloud download section, and this will literally reset your PC back to default. Now, what you need to remember is the programs will be removed on your PC. All of your apps and other stuff will be removed. So this is resetting the PC back. So you need to take precautions and back up your data. The data will be safe. Windows does do a pretty good job at saving your data, but you don't want to rely on Windows to back up and keep your data safe. So I would literally back it up myself before you run this particular option on your PC. If it doesn't work after this, then maybe you do have a broken solder joint for that particular USB port on the PC or on the laptop, and you may need to take it in for repair to get it fixed. Now, if you've tried everything in this video and there's still an issue with it, then maybe, like I've said, it's an hardware issue where one of the solder joints have broken away from the board and the USB port is not working correctly. And you may need to take it into a shop to get them to try to fix it for you. If it's wiggling around inside there or there's any damage, then you may need to fix that USB port. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. A special shout out to Phil's Computer Repair, Gary Belts, Welsh Tony One, Albert Houston, and also Geo Sam.
I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall see you on the Discord server. If you have joined my YouTube members group, don't forget to let me know on my Discord server and I'll give you the appropriate role. And I'll catch you for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.